Hey guys, welcome back to another one of these weird videos that I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So, a couple days ago, I ordered a first generation Apple TV after it became aware to me you can put Mac OS on it. So I've already opened it. There's actually a little bit of damage. Right, I'm not sure if you could see that on that camera, but right there on the end of the Pater connector, there's some damage, but it's fine. I fixed it. I have the original hard drive imaging over there, but we're not going to be using the original hard drive for anything except cool disk image. We're going to be putting it instead is over here off camera. We got an SD to PETA adapter and we got a 200 no this is a 128 gigabyte micro SD card so I have all the files we need to install macOS onto the Apple TV here on this other SD card because I ran out of flash drives so I just rewrite this SD card over and over again but first we need a Mac so for this job, we're going to need a big Mac. Move some of this other crap out of the way. The metal plate. Charger. Yeah, just put that back over here. We have my white 2000, 2006 white Apple MacBook. Let me adjust the tripod. There we go. That's better. So we're going to be using this MacBook to install Mac OS onto the Apple TV. But first, we have to start it up. This runs a combination of Lion and El Capitan, so, but we're gonna boot El Capitan first. So I'll let that boot and I'll be right back. So we're finishing loading into uh, El Capitan. This MacBook normally can only run a uh, Lion, but I did some cool stuff to it. And now it also runs El Cap because 10.7 is really old and I just need to fix this camera again. I hate this tripod. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the files from this flash drive. So we're going to make a new folder. Apple TV. And we're going to plug in our thumb drive to the Apple TV or this MacBook. Okay, we have our untitled drive. So we're going to open it. Here we got a couple of files. Just drag, drop. So we'll copy the files to the internal hard disk for later because we're going to need this SD reader because I don't have my PETA drive thing right now. It's over there imaging another hard disk. So once that's done, we can eject this drive, pull out the random 16 gigabyte SD card PNY and then we can put in our 128 gigabyte SD card into the SD card reader and can plug it in and we can check out what format it is
this disc utility for El Capitan. And as you can see, this is formatted EX Fat. Okay, that, that'll do. So, I am going to put this SD card away and then plug in the charger. And we shall proceed with the next step. There we go. Now, as you can probably already see, this MacBook's hard drive has a copy of 10.4.4 installer from an iMac restoration CD. I could not find the original disc for this Mac, which I assume is 10.4.6, so I had to improvise. So I modified this disc to work with this MacBook. So now we can just restart. It'll take a moment because it's not designed to run on this MacBook, so obviously it's, it's kind of slow. But we're going to leave our handy dandy SD card plugged in right here, as you can see. Because we're going to install Tiger on this, this MacBook. Then we're going to boot it. And yeah. I have a custom bootloader installed, so this will be really easy to do. Just pick the boot, boot from Mac OS Tiger install, hit enter, and it'll boot. Tiger to the SD card. Okay, so we are we speak English, obviously. Now this is the Tiger installer. First things first, we gotta come up here. Utilities, disk utility. We're going to click this disk, the 128 gigabyte SD card. And we're going to click partition. We're going to select one partition. Mac OS extended journal. We're going to put in Apple TV SS and hit partition partition as you can see it's now mounted as Apple TV SSD with Mac OS extended journal so that we can close this utility and then click continue Continue. I agree. Why can't it install this? Mac OS cannot start up. What do you mean you can't start up from this volume? What? What do you mean I can't start up from this volume? Okay, let's turn it off. Pull it out. Let's try the other USB port. Maybe it likes this one better. Let's also use the official boot picker by holding down Option. Selecting the Tiger install disk because everybody likes Tiger. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's the here's the T8 torque screwdriver I had to buy to crack open the Apple TV. That was fun. So English speak English. Back at the installer already. Continue, continue. I agree. Why can't you install to this drive? Uh, disk utility. Can I change the, oh wait, 
I think this is why. Does this need GUID or Apple Partition Scheme? I think it's GUID. One partition. Apple. Apple TV SSD. Options. GUID. Partition. This will repartition the SD card. I guess it doesn't like the PC style partition table. So, yep, and that was the problem. So we can install it to Apple TV SSD. Install Mac OS. Can you? Now we don't have this two, we only have this one, so we have to go into customize. We don't need the bundled software. I want X11. Don't need additional languages, additional fonts. Oh, we can install additional fonts, and we also don't need printer drivers. Yeah, we don't need any of that. We should just be able to install, and we will just let this install and I'll get back to you when it's done installing. been about 16 minutes so then we hit this start hold down option because we have to boot back into actually why don't we just boot yeah let's boot El Capitan but... eh yeah we can do that later so we're gonna let Tiger boot. Might take a little bit of time. Can I refocus my camera? Yeah, that kind of helped. So this is going to take a very long time to start up because it is starting up off of USB 2 on this MacBook because MacBook. Oh, I just realized how am I going to mount the SD adapter to the plate? No, I'll just get some electrical tape. That'll be fine. Yeah, that, that'll... That'll work. Electrical tape. Let's just tape the adapter over there now. Oh, as you can see, it has already started. Come on.
it's kind of slow because this this version of Tiger. Oh, there's the intro video. You notice we don't have sound because this version of Tiger does not have support for this Mac. This is an iMac restoration disc. It predates this MacBook. This is a late 06 MacBook, if you're curious. So the model identifier is MacBook 2 comma 1. So, I live in the United States. Do not transfer my information. That is my keyboard. A computer does not connect to the internet. You can skip this if you hit Command Q and hit Skip. My name is John. My short name is also John. There is a cute password. This will create my account. Oh shit. I forgot it does this. Hey guys. We're just gonna pick a picture from the library instead. Bowling pins. Everybody likes bowling pins. And I live... Yeah, that's not right. ED. Yeah, that looks right. Eastern Daylight Time. That time looks right. I'm not gonna check. Don't forget to register. Cool, but I don't care. So, if we're lucky, it should boot OSX Tiger. Ten, this is 10.4.4. And there we go. Tiger. Now, can we access El Capitan? Users, me, desktop, Apple TV. Yes, we can. So, there's only one thing I have to do in Tiger. And that's installed the 1048 combo update. I'm gonna start a new take. And we'll be right back. Alright, so I just meant wanted to make sure I didn't lose any footage. So should see, welcome to the Mac OS X installation program. You'll be guided for the necessary steps to install the software. Continue. I have totally read all this. There's another license agreement. What? Oh my god, why is this so long? Yes, I agree. Stall 2. Wait, can Whoa. Stall it there, please. And hit install. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cool. So we're just like that install. <laughs> As you can see, it has finished. So, well, I don't think it's finished, but we have to restart. So, 
Let's restart. Duh. What else would we be doing? Yeah, you need two different types of screwdrivers to open the Apple TV. You need T8 Torx, which we did not have already, so I had to buy this one from Amazon, because I hate Amazon. I don't hate Amazon, they're amazing. This one is a... Focus... This is a... Torx T10 USA screwdriver. This is the one you need to crack open the outer case. Because, yes. Now let's focus back in on the main attraction. The computer. Right, this is currently, as you can see over here by my SD card reader, it is currently booting from the SD card. Now, the only problem with opening the Apple TV is if you look over there, there's a big rubber foot. Yeah, there is a metric crap ton of glue that you have to pry up with a knife to get the foot off. And I actually ripped some of it. I can show you. Here. As you can see, I ripped the corner off, unfortunately. But it was only this corner. The rest of the Apple TV is fine. We got screws over there too. Oh, it was Tiger boots back up. It should be ready to go. I moved the truck. Oh, well, no, no, my chair caught the, the tripod. There. Oh, fixed. That took. Oh, it's just gonna restart again. Cool. Oh, I, I like this. Let's re adjust the laptop. Now, <clears throat> this little adapter is PETA. You can see, it's PETA. Quality assurance passed. So a little adapter that'll take an SD card and convert it to PETA. This is the Apple TV ribbon cable. It's not in terribly good condition. Alright. So it looks like we're done. Ooh, we have sound now. Cool, we have... No, we don't. Okay, whatever. I hate you anyway, MacBook. About this Mac. So, 10.4.8. Can we... Well, let's not worry about updates. So, next, we have to boot back into El Capitan. Because everybody likes El Capitan. So we're holding down Alt. Let's go over to El Capitan. And once this boots up, I'll be right back with you. So, we're back in El Capitan. So, let me consult my guide. Okay. First things first, we sit down in my chair, and then we open, we can also unplug the charger, oops, so this contains a bunch of, very convenient, 
Apple TV stuff, such as a network card driver. So, installation instructions. Caution. Blah, 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 blah. New features. Troubleshooting. Where's the installation instructions? Um, that's not helpful. Check readme dot first. Um, that still doesn't. Okay, fine. I don't need instructions. Screw you. We could just open. Yep, TV SSD system. I'm actually gonna Google where extensions are stored. Let's find out. Uh, Okay, system library. So system library extensions. Here it is. Ah, oh, meant to delete those files. So, oh, here we are. This is the this is the extensions folder. Check to see G four stuff. So first we go NV there's five NVD texts. Uh, this one, and this one. All of these send them to the trash. And then Take this text and install it. Boom. Then we go back, delete you and you. Then, next up, we back out of this folder. This is the boot EFI extracted from the Apple TV ahead of time. So we go system, library, uh, no. Undo, don't delete that, that's important. System library, course services, is boot EFI, finder, no, file, git, info, and I cannot change the permissions. That's great. More information. Alright, well, if we can't do that, we'll just do it ourselves. With our good old friend, Mac OS Terminal. Drag this in. LSL space boot. Ah, I can unlock it now, so unlock it. And then send it to the Shadow Realm. And here's this boot EFI. A new boot EFI. So who does so LS the shadow boot EFI? Ok, 
Can we do chl root boot .efi. God, I can fix this. And no, I can't fix this. God, I hate Linux file permissions. chl boot.efi operation not permitted. Probably because it's locked. Let's unlock. Then I don't actually know if that did anything. I'll just have to assume it works. Because Yay. Alright, then next up on the agenda is the replacement mock kernel. LS L. There it is, mock kernel. So RM mock underscore kernel and it's gone so then we take our new mock kernel it's right here and we go back 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 and ls-l mock kernel so in theory this should be good to go. So, let's shut down the MacBook. And we'll get to the fun part. The part where I need electrical tape. But for the time being, I don't need electrical tape, because screw electrical tape. Okay. Here's our SSD. The Samsung SD card. Put that to the side. Readjust the camera. Because I need a good view on it this time, not you guys. Um, there. So, this is what we're working with. Sorry for the weird, is not a good filming setup for me. So, this is the original ID cable. And that plugs in right here on the motherboard of the Apple TV first generation. It's gonna line up. Oop, that didn't sound good. All right, as you can see, it's now attached. Then we take our PETA to SD adapter. Plug that into the PETA cable. It only goes in one way. And there we go. It's now installed. And then take my SSD and there we go I'm gonna take this over to the TV let's find out if it works as you can see we are now in front of my TV now we're gonna take the Apple TV with its SSD set it down on the desk 
and plug it into HDMI. Then we're going to take the TV remote, turn on the TV. We got a power cord. I'm going to plug into the Apple TV and hope it loops. So, that's not where the power goes. Power goes all the way over here at the other side. Okay. Here we go. First boot of the OS X Apple TV mod. I'll plug the MacBook charger. Will boot? Let's find out. Come on, baby. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Oh, the camera's angled, but I don't care. Maybe I can fix No, I can't fix that. Maybe it's just going really slow. I can't tell. Yeah, I should try a verbose. Oh. That's not good. Yeah, that means it. That means it didn't work. And I screwed up somewhere. Well, isn't that just dandy? So, we're back in El Capitan. Here's our bum stick. Plug it in. Now, I forgot to bless the drive. So, let's do that. Terminal, 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 terminal. Come on, I don't have all day. Terminal. So, I have the command. I have the run over there. So, what this? Wait. Then we do. Come on. Pseudo. Bless. Dash dash folder dash dash folder equals dragon or says D backspace system no system library core services. Actually, you know what? Just delete all this, open the SSD and finder, system, library, course services. And then, next thing we have to do Dash dash file. Dash dash file equals course services boot EFI. And then dash dash set boot. Dash dash set boot. To my password. And I think we're good. So let's eject the SSD. Pull it out. And let's try it again on the Apple TV. Alright, we're back at the TV. We got the SSD. 
going to install it into the Apple TV real quick. Make sure it's in all the way, and it is. And plug it in. And turn on the TV, that'd be helpful. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Turning on the TV before you boot something. I guess just wait. I, I don't know. And there we go. We are now booting Apple Mac OS on the Apple TV. So I don't have a mouse plugged in right now because reasons. I'm gonna shut down the Mac over here. Shut down. Shut down. And I don't have mouse. The was installed improperly and cannot be used. Um, what? What do you mean it can't be used? What? Let me check the README. Apple TV. Stall. Oh, wait. I think I know what the problem is. Okay. Booter. Obviously. System extension cannot be used. The extension was installed improperly. Okay. Well, if that's just fucked and broken, then I don't care. Does the Wi-Fi work? Let's find out. Um, network. Airport. Airport. For networks. Can we, like, scan for networks? Maybe. Oh, we can. Cool. So, let's connect it to my internet. Why now? And we should have functioning internet, which means Safari Step Toasty Check dot com. That a T, yes, that's T. Get rid of that T. ToastyTech.com and as you can see we now have functioning internet the Ethernet driver is currently broken and I hate that and I can't exactly fix that right now but that's not important I can address that later 
as you can see, Mac OS on the Apple TV. And we can even check. It's 1 gigahertz unknown, 256 megabytes of RAM, and it identifies as Apple TV 1, 1. But yeah, that's all I got for today on the quest to get Mac OS running on the Apple TV. I hope you enjoyed this dumb video, and I'll catch you guys later. Shut down.